In 9.2, they are asking you to go and determine the x-coordinate of point T. Now, if you read the question at the start, you, the point T <coughs> is one of the turning points for this cubic graph. So this cubic graph starts off with a negative in front of x cubed. Hence, it was a decreasing graph, which then went up and increase and went down again. So you had for your turning points firstly what we call a local minimum and then a local maximum. But because the local minimum at point A also gave me an x-intercept, I found that that bracket x plus 2 was squared because that intercept for x occurred twice and hence as we've already mentioned it was also a turning point. But now they're asking you to find the turning point at T. So let's just find out what needs to be done from there. If you now find the turning point for the cubic graph, the thing that should strike you straight away is that the derivative, the derivative of that function will always equal zero. So since the function was g, g dash will equal zero, right? I'm going to quickly show you the solution, which is 9.2. If g dash is equal to zero, then if so, if g dash is equal to zero, you are taking the derivative, which is minus 6x squared, minus 6x plus 12 equal to 0. You're factorizing that, and you are then finding the factors for that quadratic, where obviously you expected that one bracket, x plus 2, to occur. And the x plus 2 gives me a value x equals minus 2, or the other x value is 1. And since we've already had the x value of minus 2 at a, we are now finding at t the x value should then be x equals 1. So that makes sense because it's just to the left of point b, which we found previously to be at 2 and a half. So the x value at the turning point t is x equal to 1. 